Today I'm going to demonstrate the use of the coolant correction calculator. This is a very useful tool that can quickly save you time and money. Uh, sooner or later, everyone that's doing automotive, heavy duty, or ag tractor repair or maintenance uh, is going to run into a vehicle that has the incorrect coolant freeze protection level. This could be because a customer has a leak and was adding either water, which is going to give the uh, coolant a high freezing point, or they may have added straight antifreeze, which would cause the coolant to have a low freezing point. Traditionally, when this happens, you have two choices. First, you can drain everything and refill the cooling system with a 50-50 mixture. This is an all right way to do it, but with the high cost of antifreeze, this is going to be a costly solution. The second way to do this is to take a good guess at how much coolant to drain and replace with either water or straight antifreeze. The problem with this method is if you get it wrong, you're left with having to guess how much to drain a second or third time. This is costing both expensive antifreeze, but also valuable time. I've developed a third and more efficient solution to this problem. The coolant correction calculator removes the guesswork from obtaining a correct mixture. Using chemical mixture algorithms behind the scenes, it tells exactly how much coolant to remove from the cooling system and what to replace it with to obtain a correct mixture. No more wasted, expensive antifreeze or valuable time. Now let me show you how simple it is to use this tool. Okay, to start, we're going to enter our system capacity. You would find this capacity in your service information. Um, so for this example, we're going to put in 14 quarts. Pretty typical cooling system capacity. And then you would measure your cooling system and see what the freeze protection is. So typically we're going to do this with either a hydrometer or a refractometer. So let's say we measure our cooling system and we end up with a cooling protection level of 20 below zero. So we'd enter negative 20 Fahrenheit. We click done and we hit the calculate button and it's going to tell us that the coolant is 43.58 percent antifreeze. Also that it is too low of a concentration and to get our 50 percent mixture we're looking for we should drain 1.59 quarts of coolant and replace with full strength antifreeze. So we would simply do this, run the engine, get it fully mixed, recheck it, and we should have exactly a 50% mixture in the vehicle, done, send it out the door. Um, give you an example here of one that um, is maybe got too much antifreeze in it. So let's say it comes in and we've got 50 below freeze point. So we hit calculate again, and we see that now we've got 55.72% antifreeze, it's too high, and it tells us, uh, just like before, to drain 1.44 quarts out, and now we replace it with clean water to make it um, a little bit of a weaker mixture, higher freeze points on it, get it close to our 50-50 mixture. Um, if we were to have a really strong mixture, so uh, maybe 60, 70, 80 percent antifreeze, um, at that point our refractometer or hydrometer become less accurate um, to measure the actual freeze protection. So we, we don't want to just go off of our, our number at that point. Um, so let me just plug that in for you for an example. So if we were at 65 below, um, what we really need to do is we need to um, kind of take an extra step here. Um, and we use what's what's called a dilution mode on the on the calculator here. It's a very simple process. What we're going to want to do is we just click dilution mode and it gives us the instructions. And we want to take equal parts coolant from the cooling system and clean water. So this could just be like a quarter of a cup. We mix it in a container. You can have a, a, a you know a plastic container, whatever it might be. We mix it in there, and we take a new test reading with our hydrometer or a refractometer, and we are going to enter that new reading into our refractometer or hydrometer. So, for example, in here, maybe we, we mix this up, and now once we've diluted it, we get a 20 below freezing point, and we just simply hit calculate. Now, the app does all of the calculations behind the scenes. We don't need to, to, to do any of the math there. It simply tells us that the original coolant that we were, were testing was 87.15% antifreeze. 
tells us that obviously it's a too high con uh, concentration and it tells us we need to drain 5.97 or about six quarts of coolant out and replace with clean water. Now if we want to get out of dilution mode, very simply we just click the dilution mode enabled button and that pops us back into standard mode. Um, that's about all there is to using it. So very quick, um, in 30 seconds you can get a, a number, you know what you need to drain out of the system, what you need to replace it with. Um, show you just a couple other features on here. So we can do, we'll put our negative 20 in again. Um, we can obviously calculate in degrees Fahrenheit. If we are using degrees Celsius, we can also use that. Just a simple click of a button and it'll give us our, our uh, solution or how much we need to drain there. We also can, if we are working on a, let's say an import and the cooling system is in liters, no, use, no need to convert it. We just click liters and calculate and essentially it just changes the units as far as how much we need to drain on it. It really doesn't change the, the percentages or anything like that. Same thing if we've got a heavy duty system and we're in gallons, we can simply do it in gallons as well. Very simple, very easy to use. If when you're using this, if you do have questions, we do have an about. Uh, there is a, uh, an about in here gives us a little bit of information on the application. Um, some safety tips and um, important things we need to remember as far as adding clean water and using the correct coolant um, for that vehicle and so forth. Uh, so very easy to use, um, very, very quick solution to our problem.